<laughs> as time went on and this thing has progressed, I'm also learning that some of these components that they gave us no longer exist. Tim wanted to change some design things on the car. So as you can see, we've kind of redone the plate that holds the controllers. Um, we're kind of making it look like it's two heads off the side of the motors. So it kind of looks like a traditional engine, you know, with the V-shape, with the heads, cylinder heads. Um, so that's kind of what we've done so far. We've, uh, Bodie Jr. made a new plate. He bent it up, he put it on. So I'm kind of just waiting for the okay from Tim to go ahead and proceed and move forward. So what we'll do is we'll paint this plate and I'll get back to where I was, which was uh, I had all the wiring ready to hook up and everything, and I can, you know, splice everything into the controllers, get them all up and working, and continue to finish the electrical. We also have another friend of Tim's that's kind of joining us, that's kind of helping us through this process of where we're at right now. We're kind of going to upgrade some, some features on this entire package. Um, some of it's like the uh, the pump for the uh, chill plates on the controllers. I don't like it. It's been discontinued, so I brought that up to them. Okay. And the fans that were on them as well have been discontinued, as well as the little radiator. So I don't want to put something in here that sounds like it may fail. So we're kind of looking into that. Um, we are also looking at a different gearbox instead of a transmission because uh, the transmission has, uh, Tesla tried it for many, many years and it has failed every time just because there's so much torque. And I can see the excitement on Katie's face. She Wait. knows nothing about this. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Wait, so the whole, <clears throat> that was part of the drive, pun intended, of Tim to want to to bring kind of the, the idea of the combustion engine with the electric motor together in part, wasn't that his, he wanted to have no. the transmission specifically because he wanted no. to be able to melt those. Two no, things. he didn't want a transmission at all that you had to shift gears. Yeah. One, he wants a traditional, looks to make it look like an engine, uh, transmission, drive line, rear end, okay? Because didn't you add the trans tunnel for the transmission or is that also Yes, I did, drive yes, drive I did. yes, I did, yes, I did. Yes, I could have had more room. But it was, it was the unknown, you know what I mean? We were going off of what EV West's solution was to this package, this drive package, okay? okay. They used to use a power glide transmission, yeah. a two-speed transmission, or I think it was didn't, a three-speed, but they, I did. And that's what I was gonna buy for this package. That's what they were selling at the time. Well, they quit, they discontinued their kit, they discontinued everything because they were having so many issues with it. So now this new guy that we have been talking to, he is the CEO of an electric car company, nice guy, and he's got a friend that's helping as well. He's kind of given me some pointers, which are great, great pointers because they've already gone through it all. You know, the, here's the thing with me. I've never built an electric car, and I'll be the first to say it. I'm not afraid to try it, and I'm not afraid to do it. I get the basic aspect of it and how it operates, how it functions, but I don't have a lot of experience in the components, you know? Well, so I don't know what's gonna fail, what's gonna break, what's gonna work. It's gonna, it would be a, a you know, trial by error kind of type deal well, to get it to running perfect. I was gonna even say, because isn't it still relatively new in terms of unlike, you can <clears throat> almost reliably go with, there's a lot of like magna flow, you know, there are and like other combustion related uh, components that have been around, the companies have been around for so long that you know that they're reliable. Oh yeah, That's yeah, yes, 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 exactly. And you have to also understand is I had a team here with me <laughs> that I was relying on. Yeah. So then when, as time went on and this thing has progressed and it's morphed into what it is now, I'm now taking over, which I don't have a problem with, but I'm also learning that some of these components that they gave us are no longer existing. Yeah. So I don't want to put these components in the car. They're not very expensive components, so it's not going to set us back hugely. I'm a little upset if we don't use the transmission and the, uh, the coupler I had made and waited for so long for. But, you know, if, if Tim's okay with it, that's part of the process. You know, I mean, look, building a car, 
from scratch in a one-off, it's not an easy process, you know? There's, there's a huge learning curve when you're doing it. And if you're also trying to come in being different, you Which know? I feel like that's part of what the incentive was originally with Tim. That's why yeah. he wanted the transition. Yeah. That's why he wanted some of these things to look the way they were, because he wanted it to be one of a kind. Tim has a vision. And I'm sure it also kind of it, it piggybacks off of what you were saying, is that some of these components that you initially started off with were the best that there were four years ago. And that's just yeah. where they were, the, you know, or they were what was available. That's what they were selling, yeah. They're coming out with stuff daily. So, um, so yeah, we'll be back. We're just going to get the okay on this and keep on moving. So, to clarify, you're waiting to move forward until you hear from Tim? Yeah, I want to know if Tim's okay with this look. Yeah, when I hear back from him, I think we can move forward. We'll just uh, paint the plates, um, the, or the plate that the, the controllers are bolted to. And I can continue, I can put the wiring back through and everything, and I can probably make something that'll cover the wiring, because he really didn't want to see it. So now that I have more room, remember it was kind of yeah. tight in there? Yeah. I can build something that's kind of cool and looks cool. Um, try and make it look kind of like a plenum up there or something, you know? Um, yeah, other than that, that's kind of the hold up right now. Until next time, then. Yeah. But I mean, you know, when I talk to those guys, they're, they like are the gurus, I guess. And they said I wasn't too far off, which is pretty cool. The one guy was said, it's kind of amazing that you've never done it and you made it this far. So <laughs> I was like, okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> it's just taken a lot of turns, this car, you know, and that's why it's taken so long. Is it's just. Uh, it's had quite a few curveballs thrown at it, you know.